in Pedal Magazine here at the UCI World Championships with Francois Parisien uh, right after his race today at the men's elite uh, road finals. It was quite a race out there. Take us through yours. Yeah, it was, uh, it was unbelievable. I had never done something like this before and uh, like I said, uh, I, I've done six world championships and this, this was by far my favorite one. <laughs> Who was your favorite one? Yeah, it was. I mean, the, the conditions, the crowd, uh, the whole the whole thing was uh, just exceptional and it was a really, uh, it's an epic uh, ride today, really. All right, that's great to hear. Uh, luckily, you didn't get any crashes. Um, what happened uh, today with, uh, with the race and your teammate, Chris? Um, Chris got a little bit unlucky. He, um, the first two laps, uh, it was a bit of a crash fest and uh, he got stuck behind a crash and broke his wheel and, and couldn't couldn't get the change fast enough to come back and uh, he had to he had to give up I think uh, it was a it was a bit too fast those two laps a bit of bad luck. For you, uh, this being your your favorite of the six that you've been in, why would it be uh, his favorite? Because of the way the course suited you better, or was there other reasons? Um, no, it's just the the crowd and, and the, the people. They they really they really like the effort of the athlete, even though I didn't finish. Um, I cooled down a little bit the last 10 minutes and people were cheering me and uh, you know they were really uh, enth enthusiastic and uh, they were re it was really nice it was really nice to see that they really appreciate the, the, the effort of the athlete. Yeah, they, I noticed that too they came out in droves and it was pouring rain down cats and dogs and they were out there cheering pretty amazing. Yeah it's uh, all along the course today it was uh, just full of crowd full of people. For you, um, I mean, there was a lot of climbing today. Um, but what, um, what, what did you, uh, what did you get out of this race today? I mean, it was so different than last year. It's just memories that I will remember forever. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was really exceptional. It was, like I said, it was epic. I never done anything like this, so I will remember that forever. Oh, sweet. So this is not your last race. This is uh, you have a few more coming down the road. Yeah, I got two more. Milan Torino on, uh, in two days on Wednesday and then I do the Giro di Lombardia on Sunday mm -hmm. and after that we'll fly on to Canada. Sounds good. Your personal form looked good today. Uh, what, what do you feel uh, and you almost made it? Uh, t t tell us what happened at yeah, the my, end. My form, I, I've been struggling a lot because uh, I, uh, I traveled, uh, traveled to Japan, you know, the, the last uh, month and a half was, uh, I had so much traveling that uh, I got really tired. So, um, I decided to not race last weekend to uh, really try to recover from that and have a lot of sleep and uh, I think it worked out a little bit. I'm just not quite, I was just not quite there, you know, I, I was missing a little bit. My preparation for this race could have been better, mm -hmm. and, uh, but you know, at the end of the day I did uh, everything I could to, uh, to do the best performance mm -hmm. and uh, I put everything on the pedal today. Everything I had was on the pedal. Well, it showed. Thanks so much. We'll Thank see you, you soon. Good luck at uh, Lombardia. Thank you.